doing. This video is going to be about how gas prices are actually their own version of a pandemic, which is affecting people from going back to work. And if people have an option of working from home or remote, not only because of what's still lingering with the pandemic, but also with the fact that the cost of gas prices, gas prices have really uh, taken a toll for its transportation, you know, and then in California, they say in some cases, this is as much as the minimum wage. I mean, well, if you're paying out what you're making per hour, the chances are you're not going to be able to cut. You're never going to cut even. You're going to take a loss. So what's the sense of going to a place when you can't afford it? I've been saying stimulus checks. I've been saying to really put money back in the American people public, you have to cut checks. Not to get rich or nothing, but to have basic necessities to offset the inflation and the situation. Because when you're infecting uh, driving, when you're infecting the economy, when you're affecting all kinds of things, uh, baby uh the baby food frenzy where they didn't have enough supply for that. Uh, you know, you have shortages. And it's going to affect what people want to spend or not. You know, really. Because it's going to impact. Uh, the, you know, you've seen it with the airlines. You've seen it with different things. But uh, watching this segment where they were talking about um, the gas prices affecting people going to work. That's pretty heavy because then, you know, you're tapping into an area where, hey, okay, what you going to do about it? And what is to offer a solution? Now, people might ride the bus. They might bike. You know, there's different forms of ways they can get around. But if they depend on their car, if they have to commute, what are they going to do? And then you have to start making choices and cuts. So not only do you have to worry about your health, but you got to worry about your tank. So it's like, what are you going to do? So it's a double-edged sword, which... Basically culminates with the last two years, two and a half years, three years, however you want to call it, being one big blur of a ball that's been rolling down like a bowling ball and you've been the pins because you're kind of in a limbo about where do you put your money, what's this, what's that, what's this, what's that. And there is no real light at the tunnel. It's been one thing for another that's impacted something else. So. You know, it comes down to what choices and cuts, what's going to benefit more. But this, uh, these gas prices are affecting people going to work. And that is a reality. And if you carpool, you still got to pay money into the pot. So I don't know how that's going to. But it's a real dilemma out here for quite a few people, who, especially for the folks who can't work from home or resume or remote. So it's real. But anyway, give me your thoughts. Are you experiencing that? Please let me know. And how are you combating with the high rates of gas prices. And like I said before, I haven't, the last couple of years, I haven't gone over really, you know, uh, minimum places anyway. Don't really want to be bothered with most places no way because it ain't worth it. And then now with the crunches, with the situation, it's like, hey, look, think smarter. Don't think harder. All right, please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And, uh, you know, it's real out here. It is real out here, and there's no telling in sight because, you know, it's still a big old wait and see. Things are still happening and how they're evolving. But all these, you know, with these prices and it's fuel and this and that and the other, you just know it's just a matter that you got to stock up, think smart, and take care of yourself and get healthy. I'm out.